Welcome back to another episode of Watching Baseball, brought to you by the store at John Boy Media. Shop.johnboymedia.com. You can get this shirt. And this one. What about this one? You can also get that one. We're watching baseball. We're out of the 70s. We put the 70s in our rear view. So gone. 1980 World Series, the Kansas City Royals versus the Philadelphia Phillies. The Royals finally bested the Yankees. They had lost to them a couple years in the ALCS. They finally beat them. They get to the World Series to face the Phillies, who won their division by one measly game and then beat the Astros in the NLCS. Still baseball, and... Uh, as Jimmy will be excited here, this was the first ever World Series that every game was played on AstroTurf. So that's exciting. It's a bad time for baseball aesthetically. Um, who do we got? We've got Michael Jack Schmidt on the Phillies. He won the NL MVP this season. George Brett won the AL MVP. They both meet in the World Series. That's a very fun storyline. And I thought the the only other fun fact, at the time, the Game 6 of this World Series was the most watched World Series game. That's cool. Yeah. That is cool. I wonder what goes into that with, like, it was on more TVs and the technology and stuff like that. I guess they're a big TV sale that year. Huge. Cable. Sears was just slinging him out. Howard Cosell not on the broadcast for you? Is he not? I don't know. I don't think he is. I remember looking. I think it was the the guys we listened to in the past years. Okay. The Garagiola. Yeah, yeah. I read his book. Uh, I grew up with Yogi Bear. Hey, this is game three. Why did we choose game three? It's a close comeback. Game three we chose because I think we go extra, so we get a walk-off and we get tied up in the eighth. Did yep. I dream that? Here we go. This is the eighth inning, Game 3, 1980 World Series. About 2,300 real skinny people in here, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Manny Trio. What, oh pitch, <laughs> what an electric <laughs> open. 2,300 real skinny we people in here? We just went from skinny people Trio, to what looked like a home run second second swing that went foul. Holy inning. smokes. I wonder what the context of that rip. skinny yeah, people line We'll was. never find out. Manny Trillo. So he's leading off, top of the eighth. Phillies are behind one run, three to two. Manny Trillo, Trillo, um, leading off. Larry Boa on deck. Boa. Larry Boa. Hi. Dude, he was swinging. He was swinging. He wasn't getting jobs. (laughs) You're missing Howard. This is good stuff. You're missing Howard. Go on. 1919, George Foster, 1976. Oh, I've got a, I've got another fun fact. The about record this. for putouts? Yeah, it's I've tough. never ever heard someone brag about that or talk about it. Very if you boy. don't know why baseball is a sick sport, look at that Larry from Boa. Boa, foul. Uh, Willie Wilson, Jim. He's on Kansas City. Yeah. He led the league in hits during the regular season. Willie Wilson. Willie Wilson. Willie Wilson. Um, he had 81 strikeouts during the regular season. His 12 strikeouts were the most in World Series history. Jeez. Brutal. Another really crouched batting stance. Ooh. They call that a ball? That yacker, they're not giving it to him. He's got a crouched stance, but Haven't come on. seen Larry Boa highlights. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, obviously I know who Larry Boa is, but I don't know if I've ever seen highlights of him. I mean, what is that, that fucking camera? Can't see the ball. Half of the field? Can't see the ball. <laughs> <laughs> like the, <laughs> they just expect him to bunt or something? Yeah, that stance. Here's, that is a nice curve. I like the ump with the quick strike there. Well, he messed up the last time. Okay. I'm digging this guy. Oh, my God. going to be a tough play. <laughs> baseball baseball always finds a way so when we were looking at the baseball reference like finding which game to do i read that i was like single to the pitcher yeah what could that mean good play by the pitcher yeah i don't think he had a shot no. it probably was just too fast but yeah really good play why 
Oh, as he threw the ball away. Here's a view from the right field camera. Oh, he picked. Yeah, it. great pick by the first baseman. He did. He did save oh, yeah. that because at the time it's the go, the tying run, right? That goes overlooked a lot. Didn't we see that in another one of these games we did? The the throw went into the dugout. Fred Stanley. Yeah. Chicken Stanley. Jesus, this curveball does move. Yeah, it's pretty nice. The catcher right now is like, dude, come on. Yeah. Bo has got wheels. Put in your own computer and say, hey, you ran on the second pitch. Computer drop, 1980. A couple guys going right now. Baseball had no idea what a computer was. Baseball has always embraced analytics. I love Larry Boa's stance when he's taking a lead. Not double-barreled, but two guys warming up again. That's all we do. Yeah. Get both up. So, who's pitching right now? Dude, if they show Larry Boa taking a lead again, he goes like full Bob Boone. Historic baseball family. Thought about it. Who's pitching? Renee Martin? I think so. Number 27. Reenie? Reenie, Renee, I don't know. Second baseman out of position. Even though UL Washington nor Frank White move, all you got to do is lean a little bit on this turf and the ball can get by you. Here's the manager's delight, two and one. Two and one. The manager's delight. Oh, Larry. Look at him. He's stealing. Why is the two and one the manager's delight? I've never heard that phrase. I think it's like a good hit and run count. Say yeah. On okay. And throws the first. I knew that they weren't really worried about any trick plays. Holding. Trick plays. Now he's in trouble. Wow. They were pretty terrified about being down in the count down. back then. A young pitcher had pretty good confidence in that curveball with a two and one count throwing a curveball. People talk about that. Like nowadays, if you're a good pitcher, you don't one. care. He doesn't want to put the tie and run down at second base and walk Booney. Three balls, one strike, Mooney. one out. Three and one, you got to steal. Yeah, he okay, goes. he's going. Center field, Amos Sotis will tie the record with that catch. <laughs> <There it is. laughs> it's huge. That's history, people. I'm just surprised I didn't know that. Amos Otis is up there on my baseball names. Amos Otis? How, who broke the record from Amos? You know what I mean? Tied a couple since you guys. And Boone has tried Amos Otis three different times. He flied out in the fourth, to Otis, and the sixth to Otis, and the eighth to Otis. Oh. Amos Otis record for put. They're so else, worried. I think Otis can catch it. Chop down. Put it on the ground. Had a nice secondary tag on the throw over to first. Who we got here? Lonnie Smith. Looks like. Guy. Looks like. Uh, Two for four. God, that's a yacker. We call it a curveball, but I tell you, in the old neighborhood, you call that baby a drop. <laughs> I like this announcer a lot. He's coming around. That was a good line. I like this announcer. He'd, he'd been losing me up to that line. The ball hit. Trying to find the put out. I was Pete Rose on deck. Outside, old Pete Rose. I think he's like 40, 39 Pete years old. Pete Rose from the Big Red Machine. Smith Gambling stuff. I can't find the record for single he season put outs or postseason put outs. Excuse me? One and one to count. Biting him on the arm? There was a welt. There goes Boa. Oh, oh. all that effort to try and contain him. Anyway. Catcher drops it. He got a good one to throw on. Fastball high in the way. Watch Daryl pop out from behind old plate as Boa's moving. Yeah, it's a nice. He got excited. That's Was that a fastball? Never came out. Yeah, Jake, they threw like 92. Good jump by Larry Boa getting off Slow. there. Had some movement on it. It looked like it was a. It looked like it was a slider instead of his curveball. Maybe the maybe the catcher got crossed up. Got a very good jump from first base. A tying run now at second base. I mean that's huge. Now he's in time. Now he's in scoring position. Ronnie Smith. That's the curveball. Yeah. Even though Lonnie Smith runs well, they're going to give him the chopper in the infield. Look at that. UL Washington deep at short. You don't even, like, Frank hear White that anymore. The they're going to give him the Keep chopper in the infield. Give him the chop single. Literally every team in baseball will give you the outs. chopper in the infield. Time run at second. It's a nice pitch, man. You talk about 
That one ended up in a meaty spot. When he can throw something besides the fastball when he's behind three and one or two and oh. Three and one, he throws a curveball, and the man on deck That's still true. Get this over, it's a really nice yeah. pitch. Sitting over there coming up with a tying run at second base. That's a lot of confidence in a situation. Here we go, like three two. Oh on second, you think he's thinking about it? He's dancing. Hit the bat. What a foul for. Foul ball, that huh? Was a big, big pitch. And I'll tell you, if you were a scout, you'd have to you'd have no question about Mr. Martin's heart. <laughs> Man. Another situation of a crucial pitch, and he goes with Oh, the that was cool. He spoiled it. Yeah, kind of. The old philosophy, if I'm going to get beat, I'm going to get beat with my best pitch, the curveball. The old philosophy. This guy, when he starts saying sentences, I don't think he knows where he's going, but I kind of like that. I, I'm enjoying him. Lost him. Wow. And that brings up Pete Rose. Mike Schmidt, and again, I think this is another case. I mean, I like our guy Lonnie Smith, who was just up, but Pete Rose, all-time hit leader. You probably don't want to see him up in this situation. He's older, Pete Rose, 39 years old, I think, or maybe 40. Double play is in order again, and you're playing. Uh, he's a ground ball guy. For the main part, I don't know. I don't think I want. I the, mean, he I don't want the hit king up here. He went after that dude. He didn't pitch around him. No, but still, you get you got to throw a strike. Look at Pete Rose dance, dude. Nope. Nope. Pete didn't want it. Where are we? Lonnie Smith. Oh, on second. Reeny Martin on the hill. Yeah, and I think we got two out, so it's not setting up the double play. Look at his, look at his, look at, I mean, it's. Tight. Fouled out of play. Choked up, Max. Pete Rose is like 16th year in the league. Pete Rose. <laughs> what was that? I guess everybody knows touch. how durable Pete Rose has been. He played all 162 games in this season, all the championship series games. But I gotta believe, even as strong as he is, his bat has slowed down late this season. That's why, oh. you, see him. By him. That's why you see him choking up so much, too, Tony. It's the first time I've seen him choked up that far. It was the first year in my career. You get that? Choked up so far. Line drive. That's his first base hit, and here comes the run across ball. No. Smith has get it in. Third. Tie game. Once again, and Mike Schmidt is the best. Eighth inning. Pete Rose ties it up. Use that bat again because you can hear it shatter all the way. One batting glove. Trade a bat for a hit. All day. What was that? His fastball? The one guy that was out here taking extra batting practice after the Phillies had gone in yesterday. Oh yeah, I just turned on it. I cheese. Feed that ball out to right field. Another look at Rose with another angle. You can see how much he's choked up. It's an easy game, people. It's a weird stance. An easy game. I don't think it was weird in this era. No. Let's uh, skip forward. Okay. They bring in a new pitcher. He gets out of this. Gets out Michael Jack Schmidt, who turns out to be the M MVP of the series. But we don't care right now. No, which, where are we going now? We're going, I guess, bottom 10 if you want. It's a lot of action. But there's an argument here. Let's see what this is about. Good spike. Good spike after the double play. The runners on first and second. One out another whirly bird in. Yep. Drive the ball hard to right field. He does down the way, but look who's there. Frank White, winner of three consecutive gold gloves in the American League. Three straight gold gloves. That's no joke, Frank White. It's a nice play. I respect a, that. That is a brutal. This is the. I mean, if that's through, the game's over, right? Yeah. He just has to be bottom. Instead, that's a double play ball. Bottom nine? Are we in Philly? Um, we are in Philly? Yeah. We've got some kind of a rhubarb going on. <laughs> rhubarb. Here we go. Paul Pryor seems to disagree with him because he put up his hands, so I don't know. But Bit of a rhubarb. He did this once before. I think they're wondering if it bounced. All right, let's see how these were handled back in the day. Yeah. Dallas Green. I mean, that red with that blue. You hear the music they're playing? Yeah. 
Interesting. Was the guy who's behind home plate in game number two. In fact, he almost missed being there. He was watching his son Kevin play soccer. And he had to have a police escort. He's got to be saying that ball bounced. Can you at least we ask him? He's got a better view. As soon as we can. Well, as the conference between Green, Kunkel, and Pryor goes on, we're going to ask Ron Luciano. You've been there. What's going on? Do you have any idea? Kunkel keeps pointing toward the dugout. The only thing I can figure out is maybe there's an illegal person in the dugout. Ooh. And Kunkel wants him out of there. And Pryor saying, hey, there's enough people in there to start a fire now. What's the difference if you have two or three more? That's probably what's happening. It's a weird route. Tell Jim Fry what's going on. That um just took a real weird route. To, we've got communication. We'll find out. Sure we will. Oh, Moscow's in communication with a guy with a radar gun down by an old plate. They say there's a light flashing off and on. Ah, 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 a little scandal. I'm not sure, but they say there's a light seems to be flashing in the Philly dugout. Well, well, well. Damn cheats. So this is probably top ten. Whoa, look at that hair. <laughs> Doug McGraw, baby. Father of Tim McGraw. Yeah. Tim didn't know he was his dad until he was a teenager, I think. He had posters. That's a nice curve. Nice shape to that curve. Literally sat on it. Do you know that story between Tim and yeah. Tug? He had posters of. One of your favorite fun facts. He had posters of. Po well, yeah, the fact he had posters of yeah. Tug McGraw on his wall and then later on in life finds out that's his dad. I mean, that's. Well, Ole nonsense. Yeah. He's been a great player. So they get out of this? Your body. Because it was hit so hard and in between, he might have taken it off the shin bone or knocked it down, but he chose to evade it. He was handcuffed. And no. So is this the is this Willie Wilson? Is this what? What's going on? Is this uh, bottom ten? This is bottom ten. Okay. So perfect spot. Perfect spot. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Same reaction. Yeah, I can call games. Uh, so that's UL Washington who had the single in the left field. And again, not saying, kind of got to get your body in front of that a little bit. It's the World Series. Hey, rocking it. We're not happy with that. UL Robinson? Ugly Lance Robinson? UL Washington is on first base. So who's the one showing bunt now? This is Willie Wilson. Willie Wilson. High ball two. Two oh. Plays here for Fry. He's gonna stay facing. He's he's thro trying to throw down a bunt and it's now two and zero. And you got yes. the third baseman coming in. So you got you put the hit away on now, like I would. No. But nowadays maybe. Willie Wilson led the AL in hits that year, by the way. So just let he's him hit. Still definitely bunting. No, let him get a hit here. Ugh. P. Two balls, no strikes. Jim Fry. Third baseman is in. When you see the third baseman there, that's when you think about making a change. He's, they liked going down the first baseline. He's not more gonna. He has to throw a strike. He can't go down 3-0. It's. No oh, I mean that, but that tug's just being bad. Just saying, I'd take the bunt off. A little charge call. Get the crowd going. Why doesn't Bud Light make a commercial with like dun -dun 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 charge from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s? Don't want to buy the rights to the song. Jeez, you see him uh, toss the bat across? Yeah. Like, I was trying to get out. Yeah. I would have got out to get that guy to second. Now I'm not out, and I'm on first base. So, Tug, what gives? Throw a strike, kid. Jeez, Tug. Tug got himself in a real hole in a bunt situation with Willie Wilson. Yeah. Bunt I would have liked that one. 3-0? I would have liked that one. <laughs> That's incredible that yeah. that didn't get called a strike. Tug getting squeezed a little bit. Fix is on? Excuse me? What is the music? I think this is in the stadium. I think the guy's having a blast. Organist is going ham. 
advance the runners. He is the best punter on this team. Now that's he has good. Led the American hey. League sacrifice bunts. Led this led the American League in sacrifice bunts. That used to be a thing of pride. It is <laughs> amazing what they're highlighting. Record yeah. for putouts, record for sack bunts. Okay, we gotta talk about it again. Well Boone's like a yeah. fucking strike. Both my sons are going to be MLB players. That could negate any trick play. Got to hold him close and Schmidt may have to feel that ball. Got to throw a strike at some point. I'd be swinging out of my shoes if I'm this dude. The la- led the league in sacrifice points. Uh, th- this is honestly where it doesn't make sense. The guy's in scoring position on concrete. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you get the runner to third, sack fly wins it. Or a ground out. Okay, that's a good, that's good, but it's still just. Yeah. Like, we've seen this situation, and they'd have, like, star players doing this. This guy led the league in sack yeah. lines. That's what he does. Holy smokes. <laughs> Right? Boone and the third baseman. Wow. Would have loved to see. Here we go. Here's where he's got him frozen now, Tommy. Schmidt made an outstanding play. Schmidt was moving in. Yeah, I think it's me. Bob Boone. Boone with a great play. I'm giving Schmidt credit there. It's third baseman going backwards, catching the ball. <laughs> Just so excited with the way things were going. Like, let's get another runner. Yeah, he's out. It's a nice yeah. tag. Booney. Nice play by your father. Come on the show. Nice swing and a miss there. I mean, and that's how momentum has changed. But this guy's pretty good. Who's coming up? George Brett. George Brett. Kokomos, look it up. How old is George Brett here? 27? It's it's hot, that's what I'd say. George Brett in 1980, that's what you want? Is this what you want? How how old was UL Washington? Look that up. George Brett was 26. Okay. Or no, 27. All right. Right. Bottom 10th, George Brett. Well, Washington. That's, a, that's in there. Here's what you're thinking about now. If Willie Wilson steals with two outs, they'll walk Brett, their best hitter, to go against Aikens. They're going to have to nail him down to first base. Even if he makes it, it doesn't mean anything. There you go. It's good. Good like. baseball talk. UL was 26. Guys with the pitch outs. They just said the yeah. runner won't steal because George Brett's up. They don't want to pitch to Brett. And you pitch out? But they also don't want to pitch to Brett. Oh, my God. What is this? What the fucking organist just Yeah, going the to organist town. is having a blast, which that's good for him. But yeah, now they're going to intentionally walk George Brett, right? They should. They just did two pitch outs in a row. He makes the pick there. He's me. Tough inning for the shortstop. It looks like Larry Bowen never gets to the bag. Willie Wilson's still in the Oh, Oh, tough inning for Larry. That wasn't a pitch out. There's walking him now, right? Yeah. Yeah, d- none of this is adding up. Yeah. Booney had another one pegged. Yeah. Who's there? So. So we got a, a lefty coming up, and he likes that. He thinks. 
this pitch mix from Tug McGraw is yeah. better. That's what the announcers yeah. are at least guessing. McGraw doesn't throw a screwball to lefties. That's what he gets righties out with. That's still to this day. Yeah. I mean, it's you don't throw a, a, change a changeup. Lefty doesn't throw a changeup to a lefty. Doesn't matter which way the wind's blowing, yeah. Jake. He's scoring. Does not matter for Willie Wilson. Spits on it. Come on, meat. Throw me one. That's what he said. And I'll never be royal. That hair is a tough look in hindsight. Oh, all when all the straight yeah. hair. Like George uh, or like uh Ooh. <laughs> Pete Rose's hair is too straight. If you're going to have long hair, you need to get some flop or some curls. I got to say this. There's Just a looks oompa oompa like. There's a lot of talk in modern day baseball about like getting your best swing off and that kind of stuff. The big guys in these days are getting their big swings off. Yeah. So I, I do. I'm, I'm appreciating that. That was a big old hack. Loading up. Oh, see, a little pitch frame in there might help out. It's a nice pitch. It was a nice pitch. Booney's doing great. Shut your butt. Need it, squeeze it, and freeze it. Who are you rooting for? Um, I was kind of rooting for McGraw. Me too. Wow. Ooh. That's tough. That would go to the track. It was like a bounce before the track. There's Clint Hurdle in the celebration. Tough. Being a pitcher is tough, man. I know that uh, they won the game. They just did so much dumb and still won. Yeah. They almost got two base runners thrown out. In the end, they win. So, great job. Yeah. Good for the Royals. Another team that loses the World Series. But look at all they did. When yeah. Tug was just struggling up yeah. there anyway. Brett probably would have won it if they let him swing. Larry Boa, that's a tough inning. I bet he looks back and doesn't love that inning. How many former or how many players went on to be managers? Boa. I think Cal McCray's in this game. I think he managed briefly. Look at these guys. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Boa went to be a manager. Clint Hurdle went on to be yeah. a manager. Did Brett ever coach or manage anywhere? I don't think so, right? I don't think so. I think they just invite him to camp as like a fun thing. UL Washington, I don't think so. Tug McGraw went on to be a father, Tug not a manager. Oh, you're managing a kid. It's true. Bob Walk. Bob Boone, did he manage? Yes. Makes sense, right? Yeah. Pete Rose? Pete Rose. Okay, we're up to four. That's a good amount. It's not bad. Bob Boone definitely managed, right? I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on it. As manager. Manager the Royals and the Reds. Huge. There's probably some other, but don't remember. Or whatever. Don't know. Not that I don't remember. I don't know. Phillies win the World Series. Mike Schmidt, MVP. He was good. That was cool. I can't believe you all Washington got thrown out third. He got, yeah. got saved. He gets saved. Saved. All right. Thanks for watching with us, guys. We appreciate it. We will see you later.